Hey, hey, hey everyone. Today I'd like to show you how to do a perfect fair shuffle. You probably already heard about it or some of you can do it. And you probably already know that if you do eight perfect out pharaohs, your deck will go back to the to its original order. It doesn't matter like you can use a brand new deck order. See Ace to King Hearts, Ace to King Clubs, King to Ace Diamonds, King to Ace Spades, or you can have any order. For instance, if you want to have something here and something there, something there, you after perfect eight uh, fair shuffles out fair shuffles, the deck will go back to that order, order that you started with. All right. So, uh, mostly I'll be, I'll be talking about the out pharaoh. I'll show you a little bit of in pharaohs and the difference, but because we need eight out pharaohs, yeah, I'll be mostly performing and showing you those. Another thing is, I use a lot of the, uh, the brand new deck setup, like this. So, it, uh, I have eight key cards. I'll talk about that too. Uh, basically, to do a perfect fair shuffle, what you have to do is first to cut the deck in two equal halves. So, 52 cards, you got to be able to cut 26 and 26. You see, it gets easier when you, uh, when you remember all your key cards. For instance, I know that the first one is the king of clubs. If I cut less, queen of diamonds, uh, queen of clubs, I'm gonna add one card. If I cut more, I'm gonna get rid of one card. I know that this right now, I have 26 here and 26 here. Now, what is an out fair and what is a perfect out fair shuffle? When you, when you look at the deck of cards like this, this is your first card. This is your top card. That's your main card, first card. It's on the top, Ace of Hearts. When you're looking in the bottom of the deck, this is your main card. That's the card that, you know, that shows you what, you, what you're doing. So on the top, we got Ace of Hearts. On the bottom, we got Ace of Spades. So when I cut at my King of Clubs, what I have to do, what out means, I have to make sure that my top card is out. It's it's free. It's not inside. Like you see, this card is inside the ace, but this top card it's outside. It's it's the very top card. That's what out means. When I look at the bottom now, let me just flip it over. Same thing here. We don't. We're not looking at this card. No, no, no. That's the middle of the deck. Remember, I cut it at King of the uh, Clubs. That's the middle of the deck. That's the bottom. So in the bottom, the, the very bottom card is the main card. On the top, the very top card is the main card. So on the bottom, you can see that this card is out. So that's number one, just like that. Now, seven more. I'm going to cut the deck. I know that the Ace of Diamonds is my next card. Ace of Diamonds. Once again, I'm doing right. There's two ways to do them. There's two ways to do them. Uh, uh, one way is when you're, doing, when you're starting from the top card. From the top card and helping with your index, which is your first finger. Like that. And another way is when you're doing it from your bottom card. Seven of clubs is my next one. And what I mean by that, some people, they prefer to start from the bottom of the deck, which means with the, with the pinky, with the fourth finger. So you're holding it with your pinky and you just let them weave slowly, one by one. It has to be why it's called perfect. It's because right now, Cards actually going one from a one from bottom pile, bottom half, one from top. 
one, 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 one. You'll never see two. The second you get two somewhere here or there, that's it. It's it's going to mess the whole shuffle uh, up for you. So once again, four of diamonds. I know it's the next one. I'm going to do one from my top card for you, just like that. Out fell. I'm going to do one. Next one, nine of spades. Yeah, nine of spades. From the bottom, from the back. Just like that. Oh, you see how I got that? That wasn't perfect there. So you see that I have to try to fix it or I have to pull them out and do it again. Boom, now, just like that. Out there. Now I'll show you, I'm not gonna push them all the way through all the way into each other, but I'm gonna show what the in ferro is. In ferro, it's pretty much opposite to out ferro. So my second will be three of spades, I believe. I don't remember. Oh, the five, five of spades. Yes, because I already did nine and... Uh, no, I only did one, nine, nine. So yeah, nine. <laughs> um, anyway, so the in ferro is the same thing. It's like an out ferro, but your first card here and your very bottom card they go inside. So I'm gonna put this cord inside now, like that. You see, my very top card, my main card, is actually inside. Same thing here, my ace here, which the very bottom card of my deck is inside. Like that, but that's not what we want. Not right now, if we wanna bring the deck to the brand new order. So I'm going to do the out ferro one more time. Cut that three of spades. This one I'll do from the bottom for you. Just like that. Another thing with this is you cannot force it. You know, open your deck. Play a little bit, don't bend your cards too much. You can't force them. If we're forcing them and they start to break or you, this is, no, 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 no. You have to really, you just really have to kind of, this is going to be the last one at two of spades. You just have to let them be on their, on their own. Look, all I'm doing, I, I'm positioning and I just slowly, I kind of just give it a little shift up and down and they just go into each other. Let me show you one more time. Yes, yeah, square them up. Dun, dun. All I'm doing, I'm just holding and they go. If you forcing them, if you see that they bending, breaking, no, don't do that because even if you get them in, in them in, into each other somehow, uh, they'll be, the corners will be, you know, all messed up and you just won't be able to do fairs. You'll have to flip the deck and do it um, or use a new deck. So play with cards for a little bit, shuffle them, give some cuts, maybe, you know, some fans and then slowly try, slowly try. And then uh, and, and then you'll get it. So that was the last one. We did eight outside pharaohs and you see the deck should be. I didn't miss anything in the same order as we started. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot. My next video, I just need some time. I'll make it uh, on fair controls. There are many, many things you can do with the uh, fair shuffles. You know, some people uh, think that, so what is it for? Just so you can um, put cards together and get them back to the same, to the original order? No. There's so much with fair, with fair shuffles. Oh, there's so much you can do. There's so many tricks. There's so many controls. Um, you know, if you, if you include math in this, you can do some crazy mind boggling things. People will never catch you. And people who even know or have an idea how you do that. If you give them the deck and be like, do it. Or even tell them, they go, do it. Or even just explain to others it's st it's still it's impossible 
you know, some tricks are easy, of course. I'm not saying that every if you do a trick with fair shuffling and then, and then every trick is gonna be no, no, no. It's just like any card trick. Some some tricks are easier, but some tricks are really, really, really crazy, really complicated. They hard to do, but then they also really hard to explain and um, impossible to get caught on and that's that's what it is i'm gonna i'm gonna have another video done uh probably i don't know i hope i'll do it less than a week or so uh, but it's gonna be i hope you guys like this and then yeah keep practicing and if you have a chance get a book on fair shuffles uh yeah there's lots of my favorite magician. There are many magicians that uh, um, that you can uh, watch who perform shuffle. Uh, I mean, uh, tricks were with uh, fair shuffles. Uh, but my favorite, of course, is Ed Marlowe. His books on his card tricks, card techniques, uh, is just um, those books are just amazing, and uh, he explains so much about pharaohs and what's the throw of pharaoh what's the inside what's the out pharaoh how to do this how to do that how to count it he's just amazing if you read um just his stuff on fair shuffles i think it's it'll be enough for, for be enough for the rest of your life probably with all the knowledge that you'll get from that you'll you'll be able to create your own tricks but okay thank you very much and uh, yeah next will be controls fair controls so yeah thank you bye